All righty, good afternoon. See, we got it about a, uh, this is, I believe it's a 6.9 pound chicken. Uh, we're doing a beer can style again. Uh, another homemade rub. And uh, actually got this recipe from my Aunt Joan. So I'll just quick uh, read it off. It's all part of, I guess, I'll quick read out the ingredients. But uh, quarter cup brown sugar, quarter cup sweet paprika. I use sweet smoked paprika because, well, that's what I had. Uh, three tablespoons of coarse pepper. Three tablespoons of sea salt. Uh, what I did there is I used two tablespoons of regular table salt, and then I used about a half a tablespoon of coarse salt. Uh, so then after the salt, it goes two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of celery seed, and yes, I had to go to the store and get that, and I guess I didn't know that such thing existed, but, uh, and then one teaspoon cayenne pepper. Uh, I let this chicken sit in the fridge on this rack and kind of it wasn't frozen, but there's a lot, you know, I just kind of let it sit there so a lot of water and stuff came out of it. I uh, just rubbed her down, and uh, yeah, she's about ready to go in the cooker. I'm guessing the temp we're going to be cooking at today is probably going to be like in the 275-ish range. So I'm guessing uh, with the temps there, I'm guessing this bird, oh, she's probably going to be, probably a four-hour cook. But uh, I will pick back up when I'm done in the garage, and I'll show you what we're cooking around today. So we'll see you then. Okay, we're down at the PVC. Um... Yeah, we are going to do this on a pit barrel cooker. We are going to stand the beer can on the grill grate. Uh, obviously, it's not going to work on the main ones. Um, and what I did a while ago, probably three years ago, is I drilled a little tiny hole in each one of these tabs. And to that hole, see if it'll go in, it might be covered. Yeah, to that hole would go that chain, and then you would hang the grate from that chain. Um, kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and then, you know, I, I knew I was going to do this cook yesterday, so I just got to thinking. I was like, man, there has got to be an easier way to do this. Like, I mean, there's got to be something on YouTube. Well, sure as heck, there is something on YouTube. If you check out Tom Horseman's uh, YouTube page, he has actually got a video and shows how to do this very, very easily. And that's my dad, and, well, happy Father's Day. But anywho, uh, all his video showed me what to do is that you just kind of line your uh, tape measure up on the outside of kind of with that tab and then go down 16 and a half inches. And that's what I did, and then I bought... You know, some a couple three bolts, a couple three well three nuts, some washers and some lot nuts, and well this was probably about a ten minute total mod. So now with those in place, you're able to kind of take your your main grilling grate here and stick it right in there. And you can just see I'm using a pizza stone. Uh, I don't ever use a damn pizza stone. I bought it because I thought I'd do a lot more pizzas and. Uh, when I do do pizzas, it's just usually on the rack tech and I put it right on the grate. But you can see now that, yeah, the beer can chicken will sit right on there. It'll be perfect. Awesome idea. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably stop talking. I'm going to get the pit barrel fired up. And uh, I'll give you a peek once we get the chicken on. All right, so we just put her on. Um, you can also see I did another little mod. I put a, uh, a temp gauge on there. And i got to say, I'm pretty dang impressed. I was doing some messing around with this yesterday. And uh, that temperature gauge... Uh, it's actually pretty like spot on with from you know comparing it to my smoke. My smoke says like 258 right now, and that as well says above 250, probably like 257 maybe if I can read that right. But I'll just give you a quick look at the chicken. There she is, beer can in it. Uh, the goal is right now I'm gonna try to get this thing up to like 275, 280, and hold it there. Um, if I can't, what I think I'll do is I'll probably take this rod out right here. But uh, we're going to let this go, and uh, I'll probably show you, I'll probably give you a quick look probably in a couple hours, so see you then. Alrighty, we are right at the two hour mark. Uh, this bird is actually cooking, whoops, this uh, chicken is actually cooking quicker than I thought. You can see here, I did go ahead and put an internal probe in the breast. Uh, she's already reading 155, so pretty impressive. Uh, I've been able to keep the temps right around 270 the whole time, pretty dang easy. Uh, what I did do, instead of pulling a rod out, is I opened that bottom vent all the way in. I haven't had to touch it once, so I'll just give you a quick look. Might be a bit hard to see because how far down it is. But yeah, there's the chicken. Um, I think maybe like another hour on this thing and should be done. So I'll pick back up once we're up in the kitchen ready to eat. Alrighty, so we are back. Chicken is done. Just pulled her off. Uh, you can see today, total cook time, 3 hours and 30 minutes. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably pull this off the holder and just kind of let it sit in this pan. And uh, I am. Probably gonna let it cool off for a good, just say 10 minutes. I mean, I'm, it smells really good. I'm, I'm telling myself I'm gonna wait 10 minutes. So I will probably pick back up one more time when this is all plated up, ready to eat. 
All righty. Well, it is time to eat. Uh, oh, I tell you, this turned out. Oh, way is it good. You know, let's go ahead and try another piece here. Wow. Um, I did use all Kingsford. I put one good chunk of oak in it. Uh, it took about three and a half hours. Didn't really, like I said, I messed with the vent right away to begin to cook. But the pit barrel kind of just does what the pit barrel wants to do. It's pretty close to a set it and forget it type of grill as long as you get enough charcoal in there. So, like I said, three and a half hour cook. 6.9 pound birds if you got some stuff in there. Uh, just a quick comment on this rub that my aunt suggested. It's, uh, it's good. I think it'll be good on other things than chicken, too. So, uh, I got nothing else. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat my dinner here. Um, give this a try, man. I mean, and girls, I'm sorry, but the, if the PBC does one thing better than pretty much every, any other grill I have, it's, it's chicken off that pit barrel cooker is out of this world. It's awesome. Like, I've never had bad chicken off there, so... Yeah, you guys have a good night, and uh, we'll see you later.